So today we're going to be talking about a ultra tour fitting. Uh, we utilize these as one of our connections to go from metal to glass tubing. Um, you'll notice on the left hand side we've got just a simple convoluted metal tube and on the right hand side we've got glass tubing. So we're going to take it apart now. So Dave's going to just loosen each of the fittings slightly, pull out just a standard glass tube on one end. On the other end we're pulling out a stainless tube and so you'll notice the convoluted tube has very thin walls, so there's an insert in there that protects us from crushing the convoluted tube. And then internal to the ultra tour fitting, you'll note Dave opens that up, and we've got a ferrule on top. That thinner side of the ferrule goes inwards towards the fitting, and then a Viton O-ring as well. So that's the pieces uh, disassembled. All right, now we're gonna practice putting the ultra tour fitting back together. So the first piece we're gonna do is put the O-ring into the fitting. So that O-ring always goes on the inside, so that O-ring's inside there. Next, we're gonna put in the ferrule. You'll notice the ferrule has a fat end and a thinner end. The thinner end goes inwards towards the fitting. The fat end goes outwards towards the, uh, the other pieces. Now we'll just put that cap on. That cap, you're gonna to wanna to keep it pretty loose because otherwise the fitting's not gonna go in so you don't even really have it hand tight. I would always recommend starting on the metal side. So on the metal side, you're gonna put the insert in. That protects the convoluted tubing from being crushed. So that insert goes in. And I would always practice with this side because it's less likely that you're gonna break stainless steel and you're gonna break glass. So you're gonna push that into the end of the fitting. It's gonna kinda of stick a little bit and then you're gonna use a little bit more force till you feel it pop past the O-ring that's gonna allow you to get a good seal. So Dave, you wanna take that back out real quick. We may even hear it a little bit. So you're gonna place the, place the insert in and insert it into the pipe. And you hear that little pop. And then once you get that in, you'll just tighten the fitting down and it should just be hand tight, you'll be good to go. Now we'll switch over to the glass side. Again, make sure that, that fitting is loose so that the glass can slide in easily. You hear that little pop, that means that's gonna insert fully. So you're gonna feel a little bit of resistance and then pop it in the rest of the way. Tighten that fitting down. Those two fittings are just gonna go hand tight. No reason to use a wrench on them. Uh, it's a pressure fit. So once you apply vacuum to the system, everything's gonna tighten down nicely. When you don't have vacuum on the system, you should be able to pull it apart. That's not an issue. It's not gonna cause pressure issues um, so long as they're past the O-ring. 